Hey, welcome back to our C-Sharp program and our tutorial for Hero Maker. We're about ready to add these two buttons up here, button one and button two, which are going to sort our list. So let's go and change the name and the properties of our buttons. So the first property I'm going to change is the name. Let's change this to btn underscore sort az. So az means like forward order. So let's change the text to is, and I'm going to put in an A arrow Z, and that will tell me that I'm sorting from A to Z. Now for button two, we're going to sort from the other directions. So those text we're going to put in in the backwards order. So let's put Z arrow A. And then further down, we got the button name. So let's change him to BTN, and we'll call him sort Z A. All right, so we got sorting going on. Let's see if we can get this to work. So let's double click on our button and add a uh, method. So this is actually pretty simple to sort. We've already got a list. It's called HeroMaker.Hall of Fame. And the method to sort a list is simply put dot sort on the end. So I'll create two different heroes. I'm going to create the first one called uh, ZYX and the next one is going to be called ABC. So that will give me a reverse sorted list obviously, right? So Z comes first and then A. So I want to sort this list. So if I click here, A to Z, I get a problem. It says, uh, I failed to compare two elements in the array. So why doesn't it know how to sort? The problem is that I haven't told it how to compare one hero to another. Do we sort by their name, the years of experience, their cape color? It's up to you as the programmer to decide what the sorting method will be. Well. Let's try name, that seems to be the most obvious. So let's go and program a sorting method for hero. So to, the, the way to get this to sort is in the hero class, we need to implement uh, a new uh, interface called iComparable. So let's see, iComparable is there. Now, when I compare two things, I have to tell it how to compare them. So it says here, you've just told me that I'm going to implement this interface. Now we have to create a method called compare to. So let's do a show a potential fix and let's do an implement the interface it says. So what happened? What created? So down somewhere in my program I should have a compare to. Let's see, after doing some searching I find it right here. So compare to says we're going to compare two objects. Well, Let's delete the code that's inside. What I want to do is return, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare the name of my guy and compare it to the name of my object. So let's say object.name. Uh, now, it says, uh, I don't know what object is, so we need to put a cast on that. So this is going to be guaranteed to be a hero. And it still doesn't work. So let's split this up into two lines. It'll be a little simpler to understand. So I'm going to create a hero, and we'll call him other. And he's going to be equal to the object. Okay, so it says, now you can't just assign an object to a hero without a cast. So we're gonna put in parentheses the word hero. So hero now is going to be the other object is a, is a, is a hero as well. So instead of saying um, object name, we're gonna say other name. So this will compare just their names. Okay, that should work. The error will go away now since we have compare to implemented. All right, so let's put in two guys. So we're gonna have Mr. Z, and let's create a new one called AAA. -A -A. All right, so we got two guys. We got Z and A, and now when I choose sort, what's going on? Doesn't sort. Well, it actually did sort but it didn't update the list, so that's my problem. Let's go and see what's missing. So I need to update the binding source. So what I'd like to do is type in bs dot, and I was looking for a bs. Why didn't it work? Well, I declared bs up here inside of the form declaration. So let's cut that out and put it at the very beginning of the class here. So the scope will now transfer to the other methods as well. So bs dot, there we go and we're going to do reset bindings. And let's see, I think we need to put in something else. It says here, 
we need to have a boolean that says, did your metadata change? So the answer is no, it hasn't. Our, our, we're still working with the same list, even though it's just resorted. So that should now fix our problem. So let's create two heroes. I'll call mine ZZZ, and then I'll close this form and then click another AAA. So I got two guys in my list. Now I should be able to sort from A to Z. And sure enough, A is first and Z is second. So if I put in a third one, let's put in something in the middle of the letters. Let's put in G. And uh, G is at the end. If I sort, G now switches to the middle. So sorting seems to work for the A to Z. Z to A does not work. We need to fix that. So form two design is where I go next, and I double click on Z to A. So I could probably just borrow this code here, copy and paste from my previous sort. But instead of sorting, I want to do a reverse. And it's really handy. There is a reverse command in a list for C sharp. So we sort it first to make sure it's in the right order, and then we reverse it. Okay, so I'm going to create three different heroes with three different names. So when I get done, I'll have Abel, and then Mary, and Nancy. So now when I get to the list here, I want to sort. Let's try A to Z first. So A, M, N. Z to A then goes N, M, A. And so it looks like my two sortings are working. One thing to do last is to create the delete button, and we can save that for another video.